Becker Point, Antarctica. We have renamed it though Beaker Point. Uh, Beaker is a term of endearment for a scientist. So this is now Beaker Point, Antarctica. And if you look out over here, this is the way that we go to work every day. And this is the way we come home every day. And it's starting to get a little precarious as the, uh, the ice is melting and we're kind of falling down into the freshwater layer below. So if you come with me, I'll kind of show you the rest of the camp. Um, this is our home away from home and, and uh, will be until, oh gee, two more days I think, weather permitting anyway. So why don't you come on into camp with me? All right, over here is uh, our community tent. This is where we have breakfast and dinner. And actually this is where six of us slept for two nights because our uh, our tents didn't weren't, weren't able to be delivered because of uh, very high winds that were over 60 miles an hour. Um, so we all crammed into there and uh, slept quite cozily for, for two nights as the wind whipped around us. Um, in this box is actually a radio that, these were the radios that were used during Vietnam. So if you see those big green uh, monstrosities, this is a high frequency radio and this is standard. This, this comes out with us whenever we go um, to a field camp or out far enough. Um, if you notice, we have a barrel here with two funnels in it, black funnel and white funnel. Um, this is this is actually our waste, uh, both urine and what's called gray water. Gray water can be um, what water we use to clean our dishes. It goes into the white funnel. Um, pee goes into the, the gray funnel. Uh, brush our teeth, that goes there. And this is all sealed up and taken back to McMurdo. We don't leave anything behind here. Um, we have another barrel just in case we, we've, we're full, but so far I don't think we're, we're filling that one up. If we get stuck for Thanksgiving, we'll have plenty of propane. This is our second tank. Um, if you can see down here, there are these uh, tan rubberized uh, mats with sides. Those are berms, and it's to contain any kind of a spill. Um, and if there should be a spill, we, it does have to be cleaned up and it does have to be reported. And if we really screw up and have a major spill, this is a spill kit. <laughs> so hopefully we won't have need to use that. Come on over, David. Okay, down here is all the fuel that we need for our generator, our drills. Help me out here. What else? Generator, drills. Is that about it? That's the main, other than the Karo's in there that we're not oh, using. Yeah, we do have a, a kerosene heater, but it's it's actually a little warm. Um, it hasn't been a, a below zero. It's been in the 20s without the wind, but it's still too warm for the kerosene. Okay. You're ready. Let's see. I'm going to turn on the fuel there. <laughs> eco throttle is on because we are eco friendly. <laughs> and the power switch is right here. On, David. We're turning on the generator to provide power for our UPS and all of our electronic devices inside so we can charge up this video camera, our personal cameras, and our more most importantly our VHF radios that we take out into the field.